Hello and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that bit of footage. So we've got my uh, beautiful M7 locomotive on the rails today. Now I've seen it before in the earlier videos. It's, it's quite, it's not excessively warm, but it's definitely been handled. And then we've got these sort of Hornby Railways era silver seal type southern coaches here. So we'll, we'll have a, a swift glance at those in a moment. Let's uh, get this 262 tank locomotive back down on level ground. So I'm just going to alter the points here. So let's go uh, curved with that one. So ideally now this uh, sort of rather beaten up R59 tank loco will take this group of coaches back down to level ground and I think we'll just run those to the uh, inside line to a siding to start with. So we'll see if we can turn this the correct direction. So this is that tank loco I got from Elaine's trains and needed a little attention. But it's turned out into a, turned out to be quite a lovely runner. So we'll just bring this along here. All the rubbish in the background. Let's stand back and we'll, we'll watch that come down there, picking up a little pace as it drops down the hill. And we'll just back off the power a little. And well, we'll have a a short stop at the station while I think through what I've what I should be doing with the point work. So let's have a look. So we're obviously we're good through there. That's getting the power into there. So I think if I come through these uh, green ones with the green dot on, we'll make this curved, and then I'm going to come around here, and we're going to come through into there. So. That's this one curved. Let's see if we can get that all to work to start with. So let's go for some more power, remembering to turn in the correct direction. Smoothly through there. over the diamond, so we've got a few curves to come through here. Points look to be in the right direction. So I've not, I know I've had a lot of these things on the railway for quite some time now, but time doesn't seem to present itself to, to dig much more out at the moment. I think we're, we're coming up to the stage where we're gonna need a lot of putting away. So I'll have to make some significant changes about what what we've got on the railway. So I think we want to come into this loop here. So I don't know why I stepped forward there because, whoops, this is the control for that. So we'll go curved with that. And let's continue around the railway into the loop. So we'll just bring those to rest in there. There we have it. And then we'll, we'll close that one again. So we'll make those straight. And I think we'll just tidy up the points, even if we need them again, rather than forgetting and getting way laid. So we'll make that one straight. And I'll do the blue one, which is over my shoulder. We won't go around, back around to look at that. So ideally what we want to do is get the, the M7 and those Hornby Railways coaches around the railway now. So I'm just gonna change the points here, make this one straight. So that should energize that bit of track that this train is sitting on at the moment. Let's uh, remember to turn this the correct direction. So M7 coming along, I think uh, 1967. You have a, have a look at the, uh, the cover of the 67 catalog there. You see the terrific bit of imagery there. So a little power now. Silver seal wheels sound absolutely terrific. I was worried they weren't going to run very well on this railway, but in testing so far and playing with it, I haven't really had any issues. And there's always the occasional jump of the rail somewhere or other. Let's just have a quick look at that uh, tank loco while it's sitting there. I'll leave a bit of footage at the end of it on, on the rolling road. But it has got some ingrained finger marks in, in, the, in the plastic work. 
It's obviously been handled a fair bit in the past. So let me uh, change over this point again. So we'll make that one now curved. And that will allow that to come around the, the, the final bit of the loop, remembering to turn the controller in the opposite direction. So we'll just have a, a short stop at the station. There we go, it's about the right sort of length for this, this station, these three Hormi Railways coaches. So they're, they're quite a dark green and the, the printing's not terribly um, accurate. It seems quite a little bit smudgy for us. We'll, we'll lift some of these off and have a look in a moment. So what, what numbers are we having? Let me, let me grab my notes and I, rather than guessing. So you can have a look at them on the, uh, the 77 catalogue there. You can see them on the pages. So we'll just uh, have a look down the length. So I've got a couple of brakes on here. So the brake is uh, R432 and the composite is uh, R431. I think available 77 to 79-ish. And I think there was another production run in the late 80s where there may have been a, a paint finish and the slightly different shade of green. And I think the printing on the, on the sides was a, was a little bit finer. So I think if we uh, give this a, a bit of power, so the M7, I think in black like this was available sort of 67 to 79, and then there were a number of green variants available into the early, early 70s. This one has the firebox glow, although I don't think from the angle we're looking at it, whether we'll actually be able to see the firebox. Um, we'll have a look. And obviously it came with the crew. We saw that in the, uh, the rusty, in the cellophane packet with the rusty staples a little earlier on in the video. So let's see if we can uh, encourage this back onto level ground. Actually, we just got a glimpse of the firebox there. But I'm not gonna wind that up so quick that uh, it starts to glow. This is the wrong place for it. So this is again, this will pick up a little bit of pace as it starts the descent, as the weight of those coaches pushes it forward. There we go. So I'm just gonna try and back off to control that. And then we'll get a, a bit of a stop there. So I think if I change this point here so we don't run through this one again by accident, let's, let's see if I can do that one-handed. So make that curve, oop, curved. And I think if we make the other one curved behind it there, I'm pointing in the wrong direction there, sorry. So we'll make that one curved. Let's see if we can have a, a little bit of a run around this outside line. So we'll give that some power. I think we should all be good there, so let's see if I can follow that around a little. And we're not we're not having a stop at the station this time. We'll have, we'll run straight through. Again, at this speed, that firebox isn't really glowing. Will it focus through those piers? trundle around there so I'm just going to let it run tiniest of hesitations on that point there as it came through not an awful amount of pickup and the wheels are very very close together let's just have a look in there and see if I can give that a bit more power and see if we can see it glow probably not but we'll get that on the rolling road and we'll see that firebox glow there we've just got a glimpse of it there well I did anyway so I'm, although I might be tricking myself and thinking we can, we can see that in evidence, but let's just get a bit of a stop here. Lovely sound, those silver wheel, silver seal wheels. Let's um, throw some point work now, and we'll uh, 
we'll bring that around. So we'll get this one again. Obviously I've taken the wrong switch there. That's better. And also we need to go for that, that blue one again. So let's see how this does with a with a diamond crossing. So a little power. So it has a, a like a sprung type arrangement for that rear truck. So to try and prevent the, the model from tipping over, it does have the magnet adhesion. Let's see if we can just stop that there for a moment. And I'm gonna switch the points behind us here so we can uh, have a bit more of a run around. So let's close these ones. So we'll go straight with that. Oops. And that one's good there, so we can roll straight around there on, on the inner line. Let's see if we can just get in close and, and have a look. So it's fairly tidy now. I, I do know that the smoke box door does open, but I'm not going to open this. I'll just drop an insert picture in there from when I've opened it before. I don't know whether you can see the plastic is quite stressed. So slightly whitish on those hinges, it is just a plastic fold. Now, it won't be quite entertaining to open that, but I'd rather leave it as it is. I've seen inside and we've seen pictures inside. So I think we will just leave that alone. But uh, fairly nice condition. There's those coaches, let's have a, a quick look along those. Lovely silver seal wheels on there. That's the composite and then we've got the other brake on the end there. So I think if we just whip one of those off we can have a look over the uh, over the underneath of one of them. The underneath of, of all of them is, is, is the same as far as I can tell. Let's just have a look there. So relatively light, lots of wobble in those in those bogies, but uh, it, it, do, it does run that has a sort of like a floating effect on the rails. And uh, there we've got uh, Made in England, sorry, Made in Great Britain under there. Let me turn that around the other way and we'll, we'll have a look. Whoops. We're getting some focus down there. There we go. So yeah, I think this was the incarnation of coaches they made in the uh, mid 70s possibly sharing some of the parts of the underframes with the other coaches. And we, ha we do have interior detail, you can see through the, through the windows there. Quite a lovely uh, amount of detail on the, on the roof there, just a drop in focus. So I think if we uh, get that one back on the rails, whoops, that didn't do what I thought it was going to do. The, the motion of the camera convinced the uh, the electronics, it was going to go the other way there. Let's do that there. Let's just have a, a quick look at the M7. We'll just pinch this off the rails. See how smooth those run. Such a difference from all those old fashioned sleeve wheels, the sort of, which barely move. And it's so light really is quite nice. So let's have a, just have a quick glance at the M7. So we'll just uh, ease it off the rails there and just have a look at that. Can you, can you see the spring underneath there that holds that in place? Whoops! Perhaps we can see the spring better there. So we'll get a bit of footage at the end of this on, on the rolling road. We can see the, the pickup there. That's great big drive wheels but that's quite quite a nice gap I suppose. So it bridges these points quite nicely. So let's just have a quick look at down the underside of that model. Fairly tidy condition. You can see it does have some sort of marking on the side where it's been handled in the past. Let's uh, turn that around. Have 
a look down the other the other side of the model. So lovely thing. Now the the smoke box door that does open, I reckon it's sitting in there at a, a tiny angle. The uh, the numbers on the front there appear to be had a had a bit of a slant. Let's have a, a swift look over the back end of the model whilst we're at it. Let's have a look at that. Great big coal bunker there. Coal almost up to the windows. So I think let's get that back on the rails. And we'll see if we can uh, give that a bit of a follow around. Oops. Bit of a follow around and we'll try and keep this video a little bit shorter. Oops, there we go. You can see there is a bit of rocking there, but the magnet adhesion keeps both of these wheels in contact with the rails. So it seems to be quite quite good continuity. There we have it. Let's give that some power. Whoops, left the, the controls over there. Let's see if we can just follow that round a couple of times. Continue through that diamond crossing. Yeah, it needs a little bit more momentum than that through the diamond, I think. Let's see how we do there. So if I give that a bit more. Uh, a little bit more, let's see see how that does this time. Yeah, it just needs that tiny bit more on the controller to be a, yeah, it doesn't like the diamond, but. So let's, let's just stop that there again. And what we'll do, we'll see if we can turn it around and grab the, grab the coaches from the other, the other side. So there's me saying I'm gonna keep the, uh, the video a little bit shorter. Let's, let's just for a bit of fun, let's see if we can, we can turn that around. It's nice when the uncoupling works. lovely sound on the rails. Let's just stop that there. We'll uh, throw some points. So we're going to go curved with that one. And we'll swing around here. And we're going to straighten this one. There we go. So that one and that one, although I was pointing the camera in the wrong place at the wrong time, thinking too far ahead, camera pointing in the wrong direction. So. It's a lovely sounding thing. I suppose really what we should do is dig, dig out the other ones but uh, I think one, one M7 at a time perhaps is enough. So it's curved with that one. And that should run straight onto the turntable. Uh, I don't know whether I can get the, the button and the I can't, I can't reach for that hole that this lens is just simply not wide enough. Now let's uh, back that up and go, and go and collect those coaches again. There 
There we go. And I'm just gonna close a set of points. This set here. Actually, I should close the other set as well. That one. And that one. There we go, so we don't run into the turntable by accident a little later on. So I think that's probably almost about it. We'll take that uncoupler, otherwise I'll run back into that on the other way around the rails. And there it is. Let's just follow that round the once and I think that's probably it for today. So I'm not doing a very good job. I was trying to put the controls down. Everywhere I tried to put them, they wouldn't, uh, they wouldn't sit. But uh, thanks again for watching. It really is hugely appreciated. If you look back again next time, we'll see if we can have a, something else interesting to look at. Goodbye now.